Thank you. Roll call. Nelson. He's here. Larson. <laughs> Larson. Here. Wenschel. Here. Hansen. Here. Reet. Moriarty. Here. Thank you. <laughs> like to thank. Man, it's out of control before we begin. I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Pro Tem Ron Hansen for running the meeting last time. Right? Two times ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So yeah. thanks again. Uh, a couple of housekeeping items. Um, Brian has requested a couple minutes at the end um, after the public comment to go over the new system for online reservations and payments. Is that right, Brian? Payments. Payments, just payments. Okay, so be prepared for that. And then uh, for the press and the public, I will have some comments and updates uh, related to the motorcycle fatality that happened uh, over the weekend in Spencer. So with that, we'll proceed to the consent agenda. Item 3A is a motion to approve the City Council minutes of May 3rd, 2021 and the special City Council meeting of May 10, 2021. B, licenses, approve renewal on Class E liquor, Class B wine, Class C beer, and Sunday sales for Walgreens. Renewal of Class C native wine with Sunday sales and outdoor service for Century Farms Distillery, temporary outdoor service area extension for Century Farms Distillery for June 11th, 2021 for a special event. Temporary outdoor service area extension for 513 bar on June 19, 2021 for a special event. Temporary outdoor service area for the Iowa Project Brewing Company for May 22nd, 2021 and June 27, 2021. And addition of outdoor service for Taqueria El Tapatio for Sidewalk Cafe, all subject to final approval by the Iowa Alcoholic Beverages Division. C is a resolution authorizing permanent transfer of funds and budgeted transfers for the month ending of April 30, 2021. D is a motion to approve Jessica Wright, HR Manager, as City of Spencer, Iowa Governmental Health Care Plan Board Representative. E is a motion to approve purchase of three onboard computers for the Fire Department from Solutions for $12,597, CAD link and setup from Streetwise for $2,400, and hardware and setup from Caltech for $3,600. This is a CIP budgeted project. First by Bill. Second. Second by, is it Lauren? Lauren. Any discussion on these items? All right. Hearing none, vote by machine, please. <coughs> Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item four, public hearings. 4A is a public hearing on proposed plans and specifications, form of contract and estimate of cost for the construction of the 2021 sewer structure rehabilitation project. I declare the public hearing open. Have we received any written comments against? We have none there. Do we have any oral comments against? See none. Have we received any written comments in favor of? We have none. Are there any oral comments in favor of? I declare the public hearing closed. Item 4A1 is a resolution finally approving and confirming plan specifications and form of contract for the 2021 sewer structure rehabilitation project. I move the final approval. First by George. Second. Second by Tom. Discussion on this. What time frame are we are we looking at or starting these projects? I mean, Roz, I know we got a lot of projects that are, that are coming up on this here or there, so maybe you can go over over the start times and all, when all these contracts are done after today. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'll start with, good evening, everyone, first of all, I guess. Uh, I'll start with this one. Uh, appears that the completion date is November 15th for this project. Okay. Um, so, you know, I would anticipate, I think maybe Brian said he talked to the contractor and they were thinking around the August time period. Okay. So. So later um, in the season will be. Yep, yep. Probably later in the summer, yeah, early fall. So. Okay. All right. And as a reminder, this is a this is a manhole rehab and lift station rehab project. I think there was uh, 29 different manholes to repair, and uh, two lift stations. So. Right. Question. All right. 
Thank you, Ross. How are we coming? Um, one thing, sorry about. How are we coming on? I mean, we've been doing so several of these a year for the last, oh, I would say four or five years now, and yeah. And so, are we catching up a little bit? Because I know they were they were in pretty poor shape. We we were getting far, a ways down, and so are we catching up a little bit on these? Yeah, I, w I would say the last four or five years has been pretty productive in rehabbing uh, the existing system. Um, there are a lot of brick manholes in the system, and those are the ones that need attention. So um, a lot of those are on this project down down towards the center of town. Downtown. So, okay. so, yep, everything right. helps, that's for sure. All right, thank you. All right. Thanks, Ross. Any other discussion or questions? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunchel I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 4A2 is review of the bids received for the 2021 Sewer Structure Rehabilitation Project on May 13, 2021 by the project engineer crews Kate and Nelson. Um, so you'll see the bid tab you have probably in front of you. Uh, we, we did re only receive one bid for this project. Um, I believe some of that was due to the, a few of the specialty items in the in the manhole, um, or excuse me, the lift station work. Um, so that bid was $124,946, and that came from HydroClean LLC out of Des Moines. Um, the engineer's estimate was $111,830. Um, so, so the so the little bid was 11% over the estimate. Um, Brian had included in the spec that if, if bids were higher than the budget that we would uh, adjust, adjust the work to fit the budget. Um, so what we'll probably do is pull out a few of the, few of the manhole repairs um, to make the budget work. So um, we, we, do, we haven't necessarily worked directly with these guys before, but we, they do have a good reputation. So I think it'll be good for them to do some work in, in town and see, see what they can do. So what do you do? You feel those prices are going to be going up with with you, the cost of oil and stuff, or would we be better off to maybe finish these projects this or the whole project? Or um, actually, the if you look in the bid tab, you'll see like item number fourteen and item number eight, which was uh, replacing some piping in the lift station and also replacing a, a lid for one of the the corn belt. Um, lift station that's pretty specialty work and so I think that's really what drove the cost up on this project okay. um, otherwise the lining portion itself was um, in line with what we thought it'd be so all right thank you yep. any other questions regarding the bid to be clear, Ross, you are recommending uh, to move forward with the project, right? That's correct. We would recommend uh, awarding the bid to HydroClean. Okay. So we have uh, items four, three, or four A, three or four. Um, I would entertain either a motion to table awarding the contract, or I would entertain a motion uh, for a resolution awarding the contract for the 2021 sewer structure rehabilitation project. Question: I would I would motion that we would award it. But do we have to put in with the reduced project size, Don, or means we're not doing the whole thing? Or as a change order. Yep. Okay, that'll just come. As, okay, so then I'll recommend we approve it. I'll second. First by Ron, second by George. Any discussion or questions? Just so everyone's clear, to recap, what Don and Ron talked about is that uh, to lower the cost of the project, we'll do it through a change order after the full cost is approved. We have a first and second. Please vote by machine. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. All right. Item 4B is a public hearing on the proposed sale of city real property legally described as lots 2 and 3 of the Green Industrial Center 1st Edition to the city of Spencer Clay County, Iowa to Doug and Brant Small. I declare the public hearing open. Are there any written comments against? 
We have none, Mayor. Are there any oral comments against? Are there any written comments in favor of? We have none. Are there any oral comments in favor of? I declare the public hearing closed. Item 4B1 is a resolution approving the sale and transfer of the city real property legally described as lots 2 and 3 of the Green Industrial Center, first edition to the city of Spencer Clay County, Iowa, to Doug and Brant Small. First by, was that Bill down there? Tom? Tom? First by Tom? Second. Second by Tracy. Tracy. Any discussion on this? Questions? I got a question for Don. George? On, on the agreement, uh, this, the sale order, uh, it appeared to me that it said the it was going to be sold to the city of Spencer and then to Small. And I wondered why it said that. It looked like a misprint to me on the sale to Spencer. That's uh, what you're referring to is, is part of the legal description of the property that's being sold. It says to the city of Spencer, but that <coughs> refers to the, the property. Uh, so the property, uh, lots two and three of Green Industrial Center, first addition to the city, is going to be sold to Doug and Brandt. So it's, it's, it's okay. it says what it's supposed to say. Okay. <laughs> um, I would note, as you probably have, that um, this resolution is subject to the approval by the uh, Green Industrial Center Design Review Board. I think everybody understands that. Um, the mayor suggested, you know, should this be open-ended? It really shouldn't be, so I put in 90 days to get that accomplished. Any other discussion or questions? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunchell I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 4C is a public hearing on amendment number two to the current budget for the fiscal year ending June 30, 2021. I declare the public hearing open. Have we received any written comments against? We have none. Are there any oral comments against? Have we received any written comments in favor of? We have none. Do we have any oral comments in favor of? See none. Declare the public hearing closed. 4C1 is a resolution amending the current budget for fiscal year ending June 30, 2021. Amendment number two. Can you that First by Bill. Second. Second by Lauren, I believe. Yeah. Any discussion? Vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunchell I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item five, old business, 5A, is a ordinance amending Title IX, Chapter 13, Section 4N of the Spencer City Code concerning improvements required in connection with subdivision plat this is the, with a subdivision plat, this is the second filing. I'll make a motion on that, Mayor. First by Ron. Second. Second by Donovan. Any discussion? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunchell I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item six is new business. 6A is a resolution awarding contract for the 2021 intake replacement project to Corey Jurgens Construction LLC for $59,592. This is a quotation project. First by Tom, second by Bill. Discussion, questions on this? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunchell I, Hanson I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 6B is a resolution awarding contract for the 2021 PCC patching project to Beck Excavating Incorporated for $46,073. It's a quotation project. First by Bill. Second. Second by George. Discussion, questions on this? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. <laughs> Nelson I, 
Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hansen I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 6C is a resolution awarding contract for the 2021 Kraken Joint Ceiling Project to Midwest Coatings for $43,580. This is a quotation project. First by Lauren. Okay. Second by Tracy. Discussion questions on this item? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hansen I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 6D is a resolution approving contract and performance bond for the 2021 Seal Coat Project with the Road Guy Construction Company out of Yankton, South Dakota for $42,466.60. I'll make a motion on that. First by Ron. Second. Second by Tom. Any discussion? Hey, Mark, maybe you could step forward and, and kind of go through these. These are all road rehabilitation projects for the summer. I know we do these year round, or every year we, we kind of go through sure. certain ones. And sure. Um, seal coat mainly is what you're interested in? Well, seal coat and I, the crack and joint, I sure. suppose. Uh, we've recently added uh, the crack and joint ceiling uh, to the capital improvement maintenance schedule. Uh, that's kind of that's a result of probably a, uh, an increase in the road use tax. So it's a really good way to use maintenance or use funds for maintenance projects. So the area that we've identified for the joint crack ceiling project this year will be out around the industrial park. Uh, if you've been out there, you've noticed that concrete has got some age with some wide joints. So. Uh, that's good maintenance uh, to preserve that into the future. Uh, the seal coat project is uh, every year we do that. Um, we try to hit the streets in a five to seven year cycle. So it's just a continuous cycle. Um, we've, we've done some experimenting with some different oils and, and, and rocks over the years, the stone that goes in with it. Uh, we think we have that dialed in pretty close with a different type of oil that's given a better outcome and a better bang for the buck and less tracking. Years ago, we used to get some tracking issues uh, when it was warm. It seems to have, uh, se like everything, technology changes some and we're trying to follow that technology. Anything else on the other projects? Nope, I appreciate you that, bet. Mark. Thank you, Mark. So we have a first, we have a second. Any other discussion on 6D? Hearing none, vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hansen I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item 6E is a resolution authorizing and directing the temporary closure of City Alley in the City of Spencer as requested by the Iowa Project Brewing Company of 316 Grand Avenue on May 22nd, 2021 and June 27th, 2021 for special events. I move the resolution. First by George. Second by Tracy. Questions or discussion on this item? I'm just happy to see there's some downtown things going on there, and I'm glad the city can can do this and close it down. And the chief is on board with this, and glad to hear that they're going ahead with this. In, in open disclosure, I should mention my George, you, Sorry, George, you want to turn your uh, microphone on? Mic oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. In open disclosure, I wanted to um, d disclose that my grand great granddaughter is working for them this summer. <laughs> so good to get a college student back to Spencer for the summer. There you go. Great granddaughter. All right, George. Wow. Congratulations. Any other discussion or questions? Nope. Okay. Vote by machine, please. Nelson I, Orison I, Larson I, Wunschel I, Hansen I, Reed I, Moriarty I. Thank you. Item seven is your engineer's report. I see at least one in the crowd. Yeah, that's right. uh, I, I just have a few other uh, quick updates. Um, we, do, we do have a um, good size uh, bid letting tomorrow. Uh, it's let through the DOT. It's the HMA overlay project on East and West 4th Street. Uh, reminder again, that's from 9th Avenue West over to 5th Avenue East. Um, there are a couple uh, asphalt companies on the plan holders list through the DOT, so we do expect a couple bids, and hopefully that's good and competitive. 
Um, the other project uh, that lets this week is the airport uh, pavement rehabilitation project, and that's on Friday. So, and we have several plan holders on that also. So, any questions? Does this whole fuel crisis thing, you know, since this is at all oil based, does that affect that type of bid at all, or is that just a little blip to them? Um, I, I did talk to a few contractors about that, uh, and it sounds like we'll probably be okay with our asphalt oil on this bid. Um, lot, lots of the guys probably had contracted oil already for um, a reserve for projects, I think, the way it sounds. So I don't anticipate that being an issue. Um, it's not saying it couldn't be, though. So. Anything else? Thank you. All right. Thanks, Ross. Item eight for her last official city manager's report in the city of Spencer, Iowa. The first time you gave a report, it was snowy and cold in uh, January. And yeah. Now the grass is out and the flowers are up. And <laughs> Birds are singing. And we're in an entirely new building. That's right. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, I have a few things. Um, uh, first, I, I, with the nice weather, people are mowing their lawns, and I'd like to remind everyone to not blow your grass into the streets. Um, you're welcome, Mark, for that. Um, and we've had a few committee meetings over the last couple of weeks, so just to provide an, an overview, the Economic Development Committee met last week and discussed um, a commercial tax abatement program as well as um, modifications to the residential tax abatement program. So information on that will be coming to the whole council in the near future. Um, the Finance Committee met this morning um, and discussed the rocket slide, so there will be a recommendation um, to fund uh, the remainder of that project out of reserves coming to the Council. Um, they did discuss the sewer rate study, um, and Brian will be getting more information um, back to them. Uh, let's see here. We've had some inquiries um, to council members and to staff about um, the speed limit on Grand Avenue, and I'd just like to remind everyone that the DOT actually sets that. The city doesn't control it, as it is um, a state highway. Uh, Jessica sent um, out to all of you um, a draft uh, recruitment plan. Um, several of you have, have, have responded, have commented, but if you do have additional comments, um, please get them to her by tomorrow. Um, so that uh, we can schedule a committee of the whole meeting, um, hopefully for this coming Thursday, for you all to discuss and decide how you want to move forward um, with that. Um, and then the last thing that I have is, um, well, not the last thing. Second to last thing is yeah, congratulations to all the area graduates. Spencer's graduation was this past weekend. Okoboji is this coming weekend. Um, and it's fun to see um, all of that excitement in the community. And I guess my last comment is I just uh, want to thank all of you um, for the opportunity to serve uh, in this capacity for the last three and a half years and all of you um, for the opportunity to work with you and to the community for um, giving me this opportunity and welcoming our family um, so graciously uh, three and a half years ago. Uh, as we've started packing up our house, uh, it's, it's looking a little bare and I'm reminded of what it was like uh, when we moved into it, and some of you will remember that my family was still in South Dakota. Uh, they were there for about five months um, when I was here, and that was kind of a, um, a weird time and kind of lonely, and um, there were so many of you that uh, welcomed me and um, helped fill that void while they were finishing school and jobs, and um, I will be forever grateful for those friendships, and um, thank you, I'm done talking. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> any questions for Amanda? Comments? So if, Thoughts? If they, if they do have any, sorry. If anybody does have questions about the speed limit, they talk to Tracy, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ward three. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. George has something here. Were, were those complaints about the speed limit being too high or too low? Um, well, just some concerns that traffic was maybe moving too quickly. Uh, the police department has done a good job of, of um, maintaining traffic control in there. There's some specific properties where they've placed the speed, the electronic speed sign. Um, I mean, it's not an unusual comment and um, it's just good, I think, to remind people that we don't actually set it. Um, but we do pass those comments along to the DOT and work with them 
um, if, if we feel that there's an issue. So. I think there'd be more complaints about the train being at the crossing at 7 o'clock and 12 noon most every day. <clears throat> well, that's a railroad issue. And, I know uh, it is. It's also in yeah. Ward 3. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ward 3 has got all the challenges right now. <laughs> Two. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, George? No, that was all. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Item nine is the mayor's report. Just uh, two items I'd like to focus on tonight. Uh, the first, while Amanda is uh, leaving and her work begins, uh, as she winds down here, it'll begin in uh, Watertown in the future. Our work begins in the transition. I've spent a couple meetings with Jessica and Amanda to make sure that the process that we'll present um, in the next couple weeks uh, will be set up correctly, go smoothly. Uh, just remind you again to Jessica asked for feedback on her plan. Uh, I believe the deadline she put in there was tomorrow. Was it close of business mm -hmm. or so tomorrow? So if you do have, if you have not reviewed it, please review it. If you have comments, please get them to her so that we can uh, start the committee of the whole meeting off uh, kind of all on the same footstep. Also, uh, Don has reminded us that uh, while Brian is the deputy city manager, we do need to take council action to appoint him as the interim, official interim uh, city manager. So you'll see that coming up in the work schedule um, as well. And the second item I would like to talk about is uh, I received a lot of contact, uh, whether it was via social media or my email or my phone about the tragic uh, loss of life of Alex Lee Wright um, on his motorcycle at the Menards intersection. Um, he's not, unfortunately, the uh, only person um, who has had a fatality uh, in that intersection. And what I want the uh, public to know and his family to know, some of his family members have reached out to me. Uh, we take uh, everything seriously, especially when it comes to uh, public safety. And things are happening. Um, your voices are heard. Uh, Representative, State Representative Megan Jones and myself um, have had a discussion um, she has shared with me that the Department of Transportation on the state side is very aware. Um, the regional director is aware and has been contacted by several people. Uh, that <clears throat> particular intersection and stretch is a state highway. And <clears throat> while we don't have the jurisdiction and authority as the city of Spencer to control or modify that uh, intersection, we do have the right to advocate for the safety of all of our citizens and the people who do come and visit um, our town and that intersection probably has the most diversity of people not from the area. Um, Menards has a pretty large draw and so it's critically important that uh, we work with the state and uh, push the state of Iowa to study that. Uh, I'd like everybody to know that our chief of police also who is here tonight, uh, Mark Warburton, takes it very seriously. Um, he has reached out and not only requested that the state of Iowa does an investigation and research into that intersection, but there's another intersection uh, close to there. The Menard or the uh, McDonald's Walmart intersection can be fairly dangerous as well. Mm -hmm. Same type of scenario. Uh, that's a two-state highway, or it's, I guess it's just 71 at that point. Uh, we, again, we don't have control over that intersection, but we're going to advocate and push for a safety study on that intersection as well because there's been some close calls and accidents uh, there. So uh, we we um, greatly appreciate everyone reaching out. Um, this is how it's supposed to function in government. Uh, we want you to know that we, we hear you, we listen to you, and we're going to move forward. And uh, we, we pray for his family and the family of the people in the other uh, vehicle and all of the people who witnessed the accident. I know I've read and uh, were contacted by a lot of people who uh, just witnessed it. And so uh, it's our goal to have a safe community. It's our goal to keep forward and moving where we need to move and improve. And this, uh, I think, is an area in which we can focus on and have improvements. And so I just wanted to offer some public comment tonight on that scenario uh, to let you know that we are paying attention. We are working both locally and at the state level. So with that, I would entertain any questions if anyone has any. Very well said. All right. Thank you, Tom. Item 10, Council and Committee Reports. Yes, so we currently have a joint Public Works and Finance Committee meeting scheduled for this Thursday, May 20th at 5.30 p.m. to discuss the IGL storm sewer project. Um, we would like to schedule immediately following that a committee of the whole meeting uh, to review the recruitment plan and, and start working on that process. So um, we'd put a 6.30 um, 
start time on that, and we'll meet in the um, uh, committee room, conference room. Oh, geez, Louise, conference room, as um, Historic Preservation will be doing one of their um, speaker series in this space that night. Um, the long-term planning committee will be meeting on May 27th at 5.30 p.m. They'll hear a presentation from Berglum and Cram on the design guidelines, and we'll provide a recommendation to council on that. And we'll also discuss um, some minor modifications to the sidewalk cafe um, uh, regulation and uh, begin a discussion on food trucks. And then the right next regular city council meeting is June 7th at 6.30. Thank you, Amanda. Item 11, I would entertain a motion to approve the bills and claims. So moved. First by Bill. Second. Second by Donovan. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Item 12, other business opportunity to address the council before Brian does his presentation? <laughs> would anyone like the platform, the microphone? I believe I heard that your daughter qualified for state. Uh, yes, yep. Awesome. Morgan Good. will be throwing uh, shot put along with a whole lot of other athletes from across mm -hmm. the state of Iowa, uh, a lot of Spencer kids as well. So just like to wish everybody uh, good luck, safe travels, and, uh, you know, the coaches and athletes, it's a uh, stressful time, but it's what they work for all year. So, Oh, thanks for mentioning the Spencer, too. I heard there were a lot of kids that qualified. So. Yeah. yeah, in fact, I believe the Spencer girls won their, should have been their 10th, but they didn't have it last year, but their 9th. Uh, straight district title um, in the last 10 year stretch. So they really have a, a powerhouse of a program going. And of course, on the boys track side locally, we had a school record broken by uh, Brogan Sire in the shot put this year. So wish him good luck as well. It sounds like all the spring sports are doing really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Tom. Anyone else? Brian, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just wanted to give you, everyone, the council and then the public, a brief update <clears throat> um, over the last numerous months. I guess it's been longer than I, since about September. We've been working on some updates to our software and some offerings of what we can do. <clears throat> One of those is ready to deploy out. Um, and so, let me. Oh, shoot. Figure out how to get rid of. No pressure, Brian. <laughs> um, well, very simple. <coughs> we'll end that meeting. And so I'm hoping tomorrow um, our, on our um, web page, the city's web page, SpencerIowaCity.com, you'll see a new icon down here in the menu bar. It's called the Citizen Portal. Um, that's going to replace what used to say report a problem and pay a bill because both those functions are now part of this new um, portal. Um, so you click on that, you're going to be taken to um, a site. Um, this is what it is. And from here, there's multiple different functions you're going to be able to do. Um, you can pay if you if we invoice you for services, um, you can look up pay your accounts receivable account from here. Um, if you have a license, through the city, a business license, whether that's um, plumbing, electrical, um, that you just register for, um, blanking on some of the other ones, Teresa, um, they'll be able to monitor their license from here and re-register. Um, there's construction permitting and inspection. So while you currently can't apply for your uh, uh, permit through the system yet, once you've applied and once a permit's been issued, um, you can log in, make your payments on those permits through the site. Um, if it comes down to it, you can schedule inspections. So when you want to schedule our inspectors to come out, um, you get the option of either morning or afternoon, and then we will get back to you as to the specific time um, that they can be out. But at least it, you can kind of go in there and inspect that. Um, there's a miscellaneous payments and services. So, um, where you used to go online and if you have a, if you've gotten a speeding ticket or need to pay for your lost animal or later right now from the police department, um, you can make those payments through here. Um, and then also right now we just have the two. So police department, you just click and pick the form. 
Um, if you want to, if you order case reports or CDs and need to make those payments, you would do that through here online. Um, the other one for solid waste right now is if you want to order your d a dumpster for special delivery um, or um, disposal tags. So if you didn't want to go, if, if you have TVs, all that stuff that you usually would buy a tag for at City Hall, you can buy those through here. Um, the last one is share a concern. Um, so it used to be the reported problem if there's um, a lot of this is geared towards the nuisance only. So you just click in here. There's a, over here on the online services, you can share a concern. At this point, a lot of these services, you do have to create an account because it, um, especially like the AR and building permits, it's all tied. So you'd, you'd register your first time here, log in, um, and then you'd be able to fill out a, a complaint. We obviously city staff would get who the contact people are, but no one else can see that. Um, you can share concerns, upload, I think, pictures and stuff if you need to, um, and then staff can get back to you. Um, the first time you would log in for um, oops, an accounts receivable payment, um, you're going to, again, be have it to register. You'll also need to know your city account number, which should be on your latest invoice. Um, you can quick pay, which doesn't need to log in if you just have one bill you want to pay. But if you want to see your history, you can log in. You'll also need to know the last amount that you paid to us. So if it's been a while, um, contact um, City Hall and we can get you your last payment amount. It's just a, a way the system does is a verification to make sure that the account you're trying to attach your <laughs> email and stuff to is actually your AR account. But um, the, like I said, as soon as our website changes, um, which I will see this is in draft mode. Um, it should be out there. I would hope tomorrow that this will then take you to the new online site for that. And again, I, like with AR, it's going to be helpful. You can see the last year's history of invoices that we've billed you, um, et cetera. If you want to know what a charge is for <laughs> or why we're sending you an invoice, you could log in there, pay it. Again, all those other services are, are available right now. Um, we're working on there, I think down the road there will be a way to actually apply for permits through the system, but that's not quite there. Um, we will have an online permitting process coming out here later this summer that will take it and make it more online, but not directly tied here. Um, as the mayor mentioned, we are we will be in the next couple of weeks or so launching a parks and rec module and program online that will allow you to go online and buy your pool passes. Um, register for pool passes or golf passes. Um, also make ca campground reservations online and shelter reservations, et cetera, and that. So, and classes, if they offer, like if the yoga that last year, or I know the police has a fun run tentatively coming up sometime this summer, um, now the registration for that will be through that. So we hope to release that out to the public in the coming weeks as well. So. Brian, is there a link Is there a link to SMU on, on the city so that they can people I think so. looking I think so. to pay their utilities? Yeah, we have a there is a link to SMU somewhere on here. We have different links. I just don't know where it's at right now. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to. Yeah, no, I that, that I understand. I know we have one. Is it under residents? Yeah, it's the right down there at the bottom. Oh, Spencer oh. Municipal Utilities. Oh, very good. There it is. See, I good job, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. I thought we had one, so, yeah. There you go. Right. <clears throat> Thank you, Brian. <clears throat> Any questions for Brian? Do you want to get banged? I do. Okay. Right. So, Brian, I, Mayor, I got a question. Yes. If you have, if you're paying for a permit, and you've got an invoice with an account number on it, and you later want to order a dumpster, do you, once you sign in, everything that you get billed by the city is under the same account number or not? No. Um, hang on one second, Bill. So each time you'd have to go in and... No, your, your login will be the same every time, yes. Okay, so you but don't have to have a different login for... Correct. Parks versus... The account number will be different. Yeah. 
based on where right you once you log in once you create an account here um and the system knows the person that Since I've guinea pig this with my <laughs> my address, um, hope you don't have too many traffic violations on it. <laughs> no, it doesn't show that. But <laughs> <laughs> Careful, put the other hand in a. <laughs> <laughs> so under accounts receivable, you're going to see here. Once I've attached my account, you're going to be able to log in, and if it's going to tell you your current balance. Um, and if you want to, or if you had a balance, you could pay it. Um, again, if you logged in, it's been a while since I've ordered a dumpster, but uh, I'll share that with the world, I guess. Um, you're going to see this type of information. It's the same information we see when we look up your AR account. Okay. So you would have that. Um, if I had a construction permit, once we've issued your permit, we have to attach your permit to your name. Um, so until we've done that, and your contractors, if they want to be able to, so once a contractor can sign up for an account, and then we can attach, so um, Pixel Electric, if they have five different account permits throughout the town, they can sign in and see all of the permits that they're attached to as well, so they could pay theirs just from Pixel or Electric's account or whatever. You're going to come out here, you're going to see your project. Um, you can click on it. And it'll take it to you, you to a screen. Or, or Copper Cottage, whoever, Midwest Mechanical, Hansons. Help me think of contractors so I don't skip over anyone. Um, <laughs> you're going to see this. You'll have over Rotary here in the ability to pay your fees. Um, you can here come in and schedule an inspection. Again, it's going to give you the option. Do you want to schedule it in the morning or the afternoon? We'll confirm it on our inspector's calendar and get back to you as to when that is, um, et cetera. So, but yeah, all that it, all that will take one login to here. It's just, um, yeah. Right, you don't have to have multiple logins, but yeah. Thank you, Bill. Any other questions for Brian? If not, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. First by Donovan. I'll second. Second by Tracy. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Meeting adjourned. There it is. There you go. <laughs>